This is a little update on my project of converting a 35-year-old Atari 1020 pen plotter over to Gerbil ESP32 control. I have a breadboard version of the controller working. The plotter uses a unique startup sequence to home the machine and find pen number 1 in the 4-pen carriage. It does this only using the x-axis motor and one switch. Here is the power on sequence for the Atari 1020 plotter. It homes the pen carriage finds pen number one and begins a sample plot, drawing one small square with each of the pens. There are no pens or paper installed right now. Each time the pen carriage approaches the end, a metal tab rotates the pen carriage a twelfth of a turn. There are four pen positions, so it needs to bump the end three times per pen change. There is only one sensor. It is a magnetic reed switch. There is a magnetic rod next to pin number one. Typically, this rod will not be in the correct orientation to activate the reed switch. What it appears to be doing during homing is moving to the left enough to guarantee it hits the end. On short travel instances, the motor just stalls or slips for the rest of the move. This rotates the pen carriage one twelfth of a turn. It checks to see if the magnetic rod is under the sensor. If not found, it then backs off a bit and comes back, rotating the carriage another twelfth turn, checking the reed switch after each cycle until it finally finds it. Now it knows the home position and the pen position. It is going to be a trick to do this in Gerbil. Regular homing will not work. I think I'm going to have to build a mini smart sender into Gerbil ESP32. This will send moves, check the read position, and repeat the move sequence to rotate the carriage until the read switch is activated. Fortunately, Gerbil ESP32 has a real-time operating system where I can add a task to run this sequence. 